Hello my beauties, welcome back. I am so excited to be here with you guys today and just to hang out. And today we're gonna be doing one of my favorite types of videos, which is like a beauty haul video. And I have literally some of my ultimate like ride and die products that I had to purchase because I ran out. And so an empties video is coming your way super soon. But I have some products. I did a little haul in Target where I bought a couple things and then I also also made an online order with Walmart because I found some of the things that I really wanted to get like some of the necessities I needed through Walmart's website and so let's go ahead and jump into it the Halloween spook is gone and speaking of Halloween week I didn't get a chance to finish my Halloween week videos just because I had two more looks for you guys that I had planned but I just got so like preoccupied and then last minute because I was recording them every single day like not pre-recording them I somehow like just time escaped me and I got too busy and so I still had a Cheshire cat look for you guys and like a Venom slash Spider-Man look but but if you guys remind me, I'll do those for you guys next year. I've been just like super busy. Let me know what you guys have been up to because as you guys can see, the sheets are still up. So there's literally still like construction and like renovation going on here in the house. And it's just like so exhausting and it's like never ending. It's like project after project after project. And I, it's just like super draining. So I've been like involved in that and I've been working like crazy too. I also have been working on Saturdays now. Like like a couple times a month and so that is occupying a lot of my time and so during the week I'm kind of all over the place but I am so happy it's finally cooling down it's mid-November I'm really excited for the holidays as for like makeup and beauty I only bought like things that I really needed like the necessities from Walmart and Target um, that's like aside from all the makeup um, I know that there's so many cool launches right now and there was a VIB Sephora sale and all I got was like my benefit um cakeless concealer and i really wanted to get the natasha denona glam palette but it was out of stock and so i think i'm gonna purchase that one you know like whenever it comes back in stock and maybe the next vib sale like i'm not super like i don't know i haven't been super like excited about makeup launches and i've been a little bit overwhelmed and i did see the trichroma palette but um, then I looked into like the actual like color schemes in the palette and this doesn't really like super excite me for whatever reasons because I love her like crystal shadows and her like special unique um, shimmery shades and this palette only does have three and actually like Debbie was doing a live video the other day Debuton if you guys aren't followers with her go ahead and follow her and she's absolutely an amazing youtuber and she was saying how there's only three shades in that palette and she's absolutely right and so I'm not super drawn to it but I don't know makeup has been just kind of like I'm waiting for really good exciting launches and I am trying to kind of budget and like save a little bit because things are expensive especially in the beauty world like I don't know how people afford everything like I usually like save up to make like a bundled haul you know what I mean but anyways enough chit chat before this intro gets way too long I do want to hear from you guys like what your guys's favorite like ride and die products are so let me know in the comments down below as I'm going through these but these are all necessities that I bought but let's go ahead and jump into it so I'm gonna start with maybe head to toe I don't know so the first thing I ordered on Walmart's website is the Amika purple shampoo I've tried so many different purple shampoos but this is definitely one of my like top favorites I feel like it really makes my hair like really brassy ashy um, especially like the blonde highlights it smells really good I feel like it's really hydrating too like I don't even need to always use a conditioner using this shampoo and I usually don't use a conditioner anyways all the time but this is the Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. This is what it looks like. And this is a huge bottle. This is a one liter bottle. So hopefully this is going to last me quite a long time. And with that, I actually also bought the Amika hair mask. And this is what it looks like. It's the nourishing hair mask. And this is with C. Buckthorn Berry Intense Conditioning and Repair for All Hair Types. And I really love what this mask does for my hair. This is probably like one of my two favorites. The other one is the um oh my gosh the purple one and kind of like a container like this i believe it's from the living proof 
and it's like in a purple container it's also like about this size and i really love that one and how like it makes my hair feel but this one is kind of like in coherence with the shampoo i kind of bought it because it has a really similar scent now another thing i cannot live without and i actually got this at target is the beach babe and this is the dry shampoo toasted coconut i absolutely love this like you guys already know that I'm a dry shampoo fanatic and this is like one of my absolute all-time favorite dry shampoos. One of my girlfriends introduced me to it and I cannot stop like using it. This one or the Pantene Pro V1 if I want more texture or I really like the Tresemme one too. Um, But I really go for like it does it get my hair like really like clean feeling does it texturize and does it smell good i feel like those are the three things that i look for in a dry shampoo and i just love this one i do not like the classic original scent because i've tried that one the only other one i really like um from them is like the tropical scent but i have to be in like a fruity mood to enjoy that in my hair so this is kind of more like musky and really nice so this one's my favorite so i got that one and then since we're going over what I got at Target, I also got my favorite like face cleanser. And this is the Clean and Clear Blackhead Erase Scrub. And I absolutely love this face cleanser from the drugstore. It's definitely one of my like top, top, top favorites. And it's by Johnson & Johnson. But it, the thing, the thing that's so special about this cleanser is the fact that it doesn't dry out my skin. So when I use it, I feel like it leaves my skin really hydrated. And it does like eliminate, I feel like, like my blackheads so my pores are a little bit smaller and it's just very like gentle the scrub isn't like really intense or really like ouchies no it's a very gentle kind of like spur scrub but it's very very i feel like hydrating for the skin and it does cleanse really well i've been using this for years actually and i feel like it just really balances my skin really well and then also another thing that's like super hydrating for my body is one of my favorite brands of body wash and it's of course Nivea. I love Nivea lip balms. I love Nivea like um, in the shower, um, what is it called? In the shower lotion, absolutely phenomenal. But they also have like different body washes from Nivea and I love it. It makes my skin feel so soft, like baby butt soft. I love, love, love it. And I've been using also this one for years. I feel like from the drugstore, this is my favorite. My second runner up would have to be maybe like Olay body washes. Yeah, definitely. I think Nivea is number one, then probably Olay body washes. What's your guys' favorite body wash? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. I like to buy new things and like try to experiment a little bit every once in a while. So I don't always like stick to the same products, but I do have like my holy grail products I can't live without. And then last thing I got at Target is a new deodorant, which for you guys that have watched me for a while or watched some of my favorites videos, my favorite deodorant is the Secret Pears Rose Scent, and I just love that one. It smells amazing. It keeps me, like, odor-free for so many hours, and I just absolutely love it. But because I wear a lot of, like, black clothing to work, because that's kind of, like, our, our, our attire is just, like, black clothing, I bought this Dove 100 Colors Dry Spray Invisible Deodorant, and I've used it maybe like twice so far, and I don't know how I feel about this. I do feel like it doesn't leave any trace marks, so that's definitely a plus because it, you know, does what it says it's going to do, but it's not like my favorite scent. It kind of smells like a little bit of like baby powder, and I don't know how I feel about that. I definitely prefer like roll-on deodorants versus like spray, but I'm going to keep using it and I'll definitely update you guys in like an empties video. So that's the last thing I got at Target. And then the only other thing I think, is this it? Oh my gosh, I think we went through all the products. Okay, that was pretty quick, quicker than I anticipated. But anyways, the last thing I got from Walmart is Pure Lease. I had no idea they sold this BB cream. And I know that they have like a CC cream too, which I really wanted to try. But I like this one so, so much. I'm almost like iffy to try the other one 
because I just really like this one. And this is the Pure Elise BB Cream in the shade Light. And I love this. I've been addicted to this for the past, I want to say like three months. Ever since I discovered this in one of our like subscription boxes, I can't stop using it. Like I pretty much almost stopped using regular full coverage foundation just because every time I use it now, like on the weekends or if I go out, I feel like up close, my skin looks really kind of like cakey and not skin like but this even though it's not full coverage and you guys know how much i love my full coverage you know even though it's not full coverage it just leaves your skin kind of looking like skin and that is so like just amazing to me because it doesn't seem it just seems like you have a little bit of moisturizer on and it just evens like the skin tone and yes, it's not full coverage, so it's not going to leave your whole face like a blank canvas. You will see some imperfections peeking through. But what I do, like I have this on today, and what I did in the areas that like I have a couple other like blemishes or acne scars, I'll just take my favorite concealer, and when I apply it under the eye, I will just spot conceal in the areas that I need extra coverage, and that does like the magic. And my skin, I feel like is so nice and like so glowy. I've been just loving this. And I just wish it was a little bit more affordable, but a little bit goes a really long way. And I love this for the summer. I love this for the spring. And I have been loving it for the fall. So we'll see how it works in winter time. But it does have SPF 30. And it's very like oil free and very moisturizing. So I love what this does to my skin. Absolutely obsessed. Definite one of my favorites. I feel like this was kind of like my favorites video today. But those are some of my favorite like holy grail products that I love love some of my favorite brands that I super enjoy and I would love to know what some of your guys's holy grail like necessity products are so like body washes shampoos conditioners um let's stick around with like drugstore brands I would love to know what your guys's favorites are because honestly like the beauty world is getting way too overpriced I feel like and things are getting so expensive like I don't know. I don't know how people like just afford things nonstop constantly, especially like all the new launches, all the new makeup, all the new products. I'm like, I can't keep up anymore. I definitely can't keep up anymore. So I've been trying to be a little bit more like budget friendly to myself and try to just get like the things that I love that are still affordable. Because I feel like this, for example, Nivea, like the body washes, be almost like every other body wash I have tried that's high end. And I still go back to this one because I love it so much. Excuse the barking dog. But yeah, I want to know what your guys' favorites are and how you guys have been doing. Chit chat with me in the comments down below. I am considering of doing a live video soon. I know I've said that before, but like I'm really, really wanting to do one with you guys. And so if you guys are interested, let me know if you guys have like a best day of the week that you guys are free to kind of like hang out with me like on a live video. Also, let me know in the comments down below. I also have like the awesome positive message giveaway if you guys are interested in that i will have that video linked down below for you guys and i think that's it i'm just trying to enjoy the cold i'm trying to like work hard and get excited for the holidays and finish this whole mess that's going on here i feel like i'm gonna show you in one of these videos of what I'm dealing with here behind the scenes because it's like oh it's like not that bad on camera but like you turn and then it's like oh my gosh what a mess but it's you know it's a working progress and like if you want to renovate or if you want to improve things you know it takes time it takes effort it takes energy and you know it's not going to be perfect right away so I feel like whew I just gotta be patient. Patience is a virtue, right? All right. Well, with that being said, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend. I am sending you guys lots of love from me to you. Stay happy, stay positive, and I will see you guys super soon, okay? Lots of love. Bye. Mwah.